Augustinia and Other Dinosaurs of Central and South America by Dougal Dixon. Illustrated by Steve Weston and James Field. Life in Central and South America. Dinosaurs lived between 230 million and 65 million years ago. The world did not look the same then. Much of the land and many of the seas were not in the same places as today. For much of the time, South America was not joined to Central and North America. Different types of dinosaurs lived in each area. A herd of Bonitasaura walked across the plains. At their feet ran small Alvarezsaurus. In the distance, two Aukasaurus got ready to charge, looking for an easy kill. Butyraptor With feathered arms and tail, the little bird-like Butyraptor pecked around in the undergrowth for small animals to eat. It hunted for snakes, lizards, and insects. Using long jaws full of sharp little teeth, it would grab and hold prey. Feathered hunter today. The modern secretary bird is about the size of Butyraptor. It hunts for the same kind of prey, including snakes. With sharp eyesight and long jaws, Butyraptor could easily catch and eat small but dangerous animals such as snakes. Augustinia The strange thing about Augustinia were the plates along its back. Some of the plates were leaf-shaped. Others were like spikes. They made Augustinia look larger than it was. Most other long-necked plant-eating dinosaurs did not have any structures like these. Size and signals today. To look bigger, modern bears stand on their hind legs when they must defend themselves. Augustinia may have used its plates in a similar way, hoping to scare off attackers. The plates along the neck, back, and tail of Augustinia were used for protection and to signal to the other members of the herd. Acosaurus. Acosaurus hunted herds of big plant-eating dinosaurs that roamed the plains. Using strong back legs, it charged at prey. After separating an animal from the herd, Acosaurus went in for the kill. It used strong jaws and saw-like teeth to cut open the prey's neck. Killing jaws today. The modern leopard charges at prey and kills with powerful jaws, like Acosaurus once did. Acosaurus stood on high ground to watch the passing herd of plant eaters. When it saw a slow-moving animal, Acosaurus moved onto the plains to chase the prey. Alvarezsaurus Long-legged and long-tailed, Alvarezsaurus ran across the plains. It may have been an anteater, digging into ant nests with the strong single claws on its hands. After pulling the ants from a nest, Alvarezsaurus would have popped them into its little jaws. Long legs today. The modern ostrich uses long legs to run away from trouble, much like Alvarezsaurus did. Turkey-sized Alvarezsaurus moved around quickly, keeping their eyes open for meat-eaters that wanted to catch and eat them. Bonitasaura Bonitasaura had jaws that were broad and straight at the front and armed with teeth for grabbing plants. This big dinosaur must have been able to pull up huge mouthfuls of low-growing plants to eat. Flat-fronted jaws today. The modern cow pulls up grass and eats it like Bonitasaura did. This is because the cow has jaws like those of Bonitasaura.
Bonita Sora was a long-necked plant eater. It pulled plants from the ground with its front teeth and chopped the food with its side teeth. Eoraptor Eoraptor was one of the first dinosaurs. It was a duck-sized meat-eater that ran on its hind legs and ate insects, lizards, and small mammals. Over millions of years, little dinosaurs such as Eoraptor evolved into many different types of giant dinosaurs. Dinosaur-like animals today. Modern birds came from the same animals that dinosaurs did. Birds look more like the tiny early dinosaurs than the big ones that came later. Using sure feet and sharp eyesight, Eoraptor hunted small lizards. Saltosaurus Saltosaurus was a long-necked plant eater with armor on its back. These dinosaurs made nests and lived in herds. Predators attacked the nests to eat the eggs and young. The adult Saltosaurus were protected from predators by armor. Nesting together today. Terns nest together on open ground, just as Saltosaurus did. This helps to keep them safe. Saltosaurus made a nest by scraping together sand and dirt. It laid eggs in a hollow space in the middle of the nest. Gasparina Sora Among dinosaurs, not only the small meat eaters were fast runners. Gasparina Sora was a speedy plant eater. It fed on low growing plants. When any of the larger meat eaters came along, it dashed to safety on its long hind legs. Low plant feeders today. The modern goose feeds on low growing plants, just as Gasparinosaura did. Gasparinosaura fed mainly on ferns growing in the forests. These dinosaurs moved and rested in small groups.